Hey there, welcome to the Overcomers of Relapse Podcast. I am D, your host. This is episode four of season nine of my podcast. So welcome to all listeners out there. It is great to share this experience with you. I decided with the introduction of each episode of season nine to start it off with a great meditation track. And I know you guys are getting really familiar with I really enjoy this track, and trust me, listeners from all over have expressed they love it as well. You know, it really does help relieve the tension and stress we all deal with in our everyday busy lives. So come on, sit back, and enjoy. I will be right back with today's topic and discussion. So come on, people. Let's relax. Let's make this an easy listening evening. Place all life problems and concerns on pause. Let's take a flight on Angel Wings. Enjoy. I certainly needed that this evening. 
it really relaxes me and bring me to a place of serenity and clarity and just assures me that everything will work out all right. Now, let's get started. I just want to put this out there right from the beginning. This podcast is not only pertaining to relapse far as drugs, alcohol, or any other addictions. We are open to all topics. However, our main topic is why do we have addictive behaviors and how can we overcome them? On episode four of season nine, I would like to use for a topic. You ain't got that thing if you ain't got that sling. (laughs) You heard me right, my friends. You ain't got a thing if you ain't got that sling. And I know the English is not correct. (laughs) Okay, so let's take a quick look at the definition of the word sling. Now, sling is defined as a simple weapon in the form of a strap or loop used to hurl stones or other small missiles. Hey, my friends, I have a question to ask you. What do you have in your sling? (laughs) This topic came to my mind when I thought of the story of King David in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Now, I know everyone may not be into the King James Version of the Holy Bible, but I am pretty sure that everyone is kind of familiar with this story. However, just to give you a quick version of it, King David was a young man in the Bible that used a slingshot with a stone in it to knock the giant Goliath to his knees and slay the giant Goliath by cutting off his head. See, my recovering and sober friends, in my opinion, this man is a great story and can be used as a powerful concept when it comes to you using it against the challenges of your life, especially, especially fighting addictions. But my friends, it all comes down to this. You ain't got that thing if you do not have that slave. See, in the story, if you notice, the sling with the stones is used first to bring the giant down to David's level. Because as long as giant is standing over him, as long as Goliath is standing over him, hey, the giant can seem very intimidating. Well, addictions will have the same advantage over us as long as we have the mindset that we are already conquered. And the reason we will feel that we already conquered is because the projection of the influences of addictions presented to what could be a weakness if we allow it, which are, my friends, our gates, our mind, body, and spirit. See, listening friends, um, when we come to the understanding that our gates are also our most significant, reflective, defensive weapon. I'm referring to our mind, body, and spirit. It's all depending on the development one chooses. Hey, I know you've heard this before. And trust me, my friends, it is really true. You are what you eat, think, and definitely believe. Well, without going too deep into the story, See, David approached Goliath right from the jump with a conquering, defeated, and I'm going to destroy attitude. I mean, he walked right into the fight with that type of disposition right from the beginning. You know, David, he had his weapon in his hand, his declaration in his heart, 
and most of all, God of the universe in his spirit. See, one of the points, my friends, I'm trying to make here is not only is David holding a physical weapon called a slave, but you guessed it, my friend, David is a human weapon. I mean, he's a human slave. <laughs> you know, my listening friends, just in my opinion, if you want to truly win, the war of fighting everyday challenges in your life? Ask yourself these questions. What kind of stones am I packing in my sling? I mean, your actual self. What are you packing in your, your being? Your being slain. Get it? <laughs> See, my friends, the only way you are going to come to terms to what kind of stones you are packing in your sling is to evaluate yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. And most of all, my friends, when you are doing this evaluation, please, please be honest with yourself. Because if you're not honest with yourself, the only person you're really fooling is you. When you're doing this evaluation, just evaluate and ask yourself these kind of questions. What kind of foods do you eat? I mean, are they healthy for you? Do you exercise? And what do you think about? Do you stimulate your mind with valuable information and positive entertainment to maintain a balanced state of mental health? Or... Just constantality, mental engagement with unintellectual individuals and useless information. And ask yourself, what do you believe in? I mean, are you committed to your spiritual beliefs? And is it the foundation of your very inner being existence? Hey, I did this evaluation and trust me, I know it's scary. Right. <laughs> um, truly, I mean, looking at what we are carrying in our slings, hey, it's no wonder why we feel so defeated more than we should. Hey, my listening friends, speaking on this topic has caused me to take an even closer look at my own self. And I have to come to the realization that although I believe that I am packing some great stones in my human sling, hey, my friends, there is always room for improvement. And my personal intent is to aim, and I mean reach, and obtain a rock. Hey, because to be honest with you, I want to be the reflection of David during his time of battles in all of my life, all of my avenues of battle and challenges I have to deal with. And to be honest, the only way that this is possible depends on what I am carrying in my sling, body, mind, and spirit. So I have a question. Now that we all have become aware, what will you carry in your human sling? Because just remember, my friends, you ain't got a thing if you ain't got that sling. So my friends, make your stones count. Let them gather and structure you into becoming a human rock, which I honestly, honestly believe, matter of fact, I know we all can be. Then we can cut the head off of anything. Addictions, difficult circumstances, hatred, and division. Hey, friends, because uh, once your stones have taken on the formation of a human rock, hey, 
Not only will you have that thing in your sling, you will be ready to swing. And trust me, my friends, it will make a powerful impact. Well, that's it for episode four of season nine. Please visit my website, The Overcomers of Relapse Lounge. It is listed on the screen. And please feel free to post on blog, share thoughts, and also feel free to chat. All contact information is on there also. And trust me, my friends, with a lot of great news. Come on, my friends, go visit the website. It is a place that you will enjoy. Hey, and also, come join me on my Facebook group called Overcomers of Relapse Lounge. Hey, we have a lot of great inspiring hosts, and I mean just a great, great group of people to chat with. And my friends, please send in those questions and be sure to listen to the Ask Me segment. It is always a pleasure to serve. Hey, my friends, let me know your opinions and thoughts. And also, if you would like to be a guest on the podcast. Thanks again for joining me and talk with you all again very soon. Hey, be good to yourself. Take care of yourselves out there. Bye-bye. You don't know what this feels like. 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 You said be free. I was always thinking. Addicts are losers, losers and thugs, not knowing the pain from being, being addicted, addicted to drugs. Most of us hate this shit, hate this shit, with a strong passion. It's the disease that causes, causes the real destruction. Until you have walked in my shoes, walking through hell, you don't know. Forget what you heard. This is my brother's story to tell. You just don't know. You don't know what this feels like Addiction 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 You don't know what this feels like You be free Man oh man, I've done it again Relax after relax Hey brother, let me tell you something This shit is an no okay. game The crap, the heroin, the coke and the booze My body, my spirit, my mind is so confused The demons hunt me night and day until you feel this, forget what you say, cause you just don't know.